Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you all know that gaming is at hype nowadays and most of you guys must be looking to start a new gaming channel. In this video, we'll show you what all things are required for streaming with your Android or iOS device. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Basically, if you are starting a new gaming channel, if you are looking to do live stream, it's always recommended to use webcam. And here in this video, we'll also let you know what will be the minimum cost at which you can do a proper live stream like all big streamers does. So first talking about the gears you require for streaming. First you need a PC or laptop. In my case, I use Acer laptop which comes with Intel Core i7 and inbuilt Nvidia graphic card. Then you'll need a phone, either it can be Android or iOS. And if you're looking for participating in tournaments, then I'll recommend you to go with iOS devices. Basically I use my iPhone for live streaming. Then comes the main device which almost all streamers use which is Elgato. I use HD60S which will cost you around 14,000. And inside the box along with Elgato you'll get a Type-C to USB cable. If you're streaming using your Android device then you'll need a cable which is Type-C to HDMI and which will cost you around 700 to 800 Indian rupees. All the purchase links will be given in the description below. You can also use Type-C to HDMI converter. Then you'll also require an HDMI cable which you can find it in any local market within 500 rupees. And if you're using your iPhone to stream then you will need this lightning connector which comes with an HDMI port and a charging port. And if your laptop or your desktop doesn't have multiple USB ports you can also make a purchase of this USB splitter and this splitter comes with USB 3.0. And guys one more thing what you need to keep in mind Elgato only supports USB 3.0. So if your PC or laptop doesn't have USB 3.0 then you won't be able to use Elgato. Then you'll be needing a webcam if you're doing face cam on your live streams. And this webcam cost me around 2000 Indian rupees. But if you need a better webcam, that might cost you around 6 to 7000 Indian rupees. But if you have an additional phone which you don't use it, then that will be a better alternative for webcam. In my live streaming, I use my OnePlus 5. I use this device as webcam using IVCam application. And the pro version of this application will only cost you 750 Indian rupees. So if you have an additional phone that can be used as webcam. And at last will require a gaming headset and in my case I use this cosmic bite which will cost you around 3500 and I'll recommend you guys to use a headset which comes with USB connector because that makes easy for the audio configuration if you have any headset which comes with 3.5 mm jack that should also work out and now if we talk about the actual cost if you're streaming with your Android device the total cost will be around 21,500 which includes everything like Elgato webcam, headset, Type-C to HDMI connector. But if you are streaming with your iPhone, then the cost will go up to 25,000. Because in the case of iPhone, we need a lightning connector and that will cost you 4200 and you can cut down the cost by using alternatives for things like webcam as I use my mobile device instead of webcam. So guys this is the final cost which is required for a proper streaming. And now let's talk about how to connect your Elgato and other stuff. On your Elgato you'll see few ports on both the sides. One will be HDMI in, then you'll see Type-C port and a headphone jack port. Towards the back side of your Elgato, you'll see an HDMI out port. If you're streaming with your phone, then there is no requirement to use this HDMI out port. Then what you have to do is you need to connect the cable which came inside the box of Elgato which is Type-C to USB. Insert this cable in Elgato Type-C port and then second cable which you need to use is HDMI cable. So for HDMI cable you need to use HDMI in port. So you need only these two wires on your Elgato. And guys if you are using Android for streaming then you won't be able to use the in-game mic from your Android device. So if you are playing with your teammates, either you need to turn off the mic or if you want to have conversation with your teammates, then you need to use an application called Discord. You guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want a dedicated video on how to use Discord with Android device. Then we'll make a dedicated video on that. But that's not the case in iPhone. iPhone you can directly use the in-game mic. This is the only problem with Android devices. Now let's move on to our PC and we'll show you the 
settings of OBS. If you are using Elgato for the first time, then just go to their official website and download this game capture for Windows. But here, we will not be using game capture card. It's just to check whether Elgato is working properly or not. Once you open that game capture card application on your PC, you'll see this light blinking on Elgato. And this software should automatically detect gaming capture card which is HD60S, which I'm using right now. But for the live streaming, I'll be using Steam Lab OBS instead of Elgato's official software. There are many softwares by which you can do live streaming on YouTube, but I prefer Streamlab OBS. So you can download this Streamlab OBS software from the description below. Once you download it, open the software and this will be the initial screen of the software where it will ask you to connect to your social media accounts. Right now you can skip this part and later you will find a second window which will be similar to this but you won't have these sources available. I'll tell you how to add these sources also. But before that, what you have to do is you need to open up your YouTube account if you are streaming on YouTube and you need to copy the stream key. Open live dashboard of your YouTube channel and from here tapping on reveal, you can copy the key from here. After that, go to Streamlab OBS, tap on the settings gear, tap on stream and from here you can select the service for stream like YouTube if you are streaming on YouTube and later you need to paste that key under this stream key section once you are done with that tap on done so now you have successfully added your YouTube account now talking about adding these sources for that what you need to do is before that you need to get this overlay and if you guys are not aware from where to get this overlay you can contact me on the Instagram I'll let you know from where you can get these overlays which includes your gaming channel overlay and your webcam overlay. Now let's talk about how to add these sources. If you're doing it for the first time, you won't see these sources under this source section. You need to tap on plus icon and then you need to tap on video capture device. Video capture device includes webcam and your capture cards. Later add on source and from here you can add a new source and also give it a name. This way you need to add the Elgato means your gaming capture device and webcam and now talking about its settings once you add the source it will pop up these settings under devices you need to select your gaming capture card in my case it's hd60s elgato and before adding any source make sure you have connected your headphones and your elgato so as i've already added this let me remove this source which we recently added and now tapping on Elgato and here are the settings. Under resolution you can set it as custom depending on your internet connectivity. FPS you can set it as match output FPS. Under video format keep it as any. Color source should be 709. Buffering auto detect. Under audio you need to try out these three things. If there is any delay in any of these try to switch between direct sound and wave sound. So these were the settings of my Elgato. And the same way you have to add a source in which you need to select the camera. Either you can select your HD cam which is available on your laptop or else if you have added any additional webcam that should pop up in this device section. I use IVCam application and use my OnePlus device as webcam. So this way you can add these overlays and your Elgato. And another thing what you need to keep in mind with related to Elgato settings. Go to configure video and this will open up an another settings panel. Make sure under audio input it's selected as HDMI audio. Analog is for those devices which doesn't have support of HDMI. So once you have done all these settings, save it and now coming on to the audio part. And as I said before doing anything, make sure you have connected all your devices which are required like webcam, headsets and Elgato. After that you will see few options under mixer like OnePlus camera, all the sources which you have added under the source section. One by one you can hide these things tapping on this gear icon hide and I'll tell you which all things are required under mixer section. Again tap on the gear settings, hide will hide the camera frame also, one plus camera or your webcam. We just need to keep these two things. One is desktop audio and the second one is mic. Now we'll tap on this gear icon again. We'll go to properties and here under devices you need to select your headset which means the gaming headset. So as you can see my PC easily detects that because I'm using a USB headset so we'll select speaker as headset done we'll go to the mic property by tapping on the gear icon properties and here also i'll select microphone of my usb headset and tapping on done so guys these are the few basic settings which you need to do inside your streamlab obs and now let me connect my device by which i do live streams you can use any device android or ios setting remains the same
so let me once again show you the connection so here i have my elgato from which one cable is connected to my laptop which is type c to usb and the second cable is hdmi cable which i have to connect it with lightning cable for iphone and the second splitter is for android devices if you are using your android device you need to connect the hdmi cable to the splitter inside the hdmi port and if you are using iphone for streaming then the same thing has to be connected with the lightning connector for iphone both the splitters have hdmi port but one drawback with the android is most of my oneplus devices do not get charged while streaming but that's the advantage with lightning connector you can also charge your device first we'll use our iphone to stream so let's connect this hdmi cable to the lightning connector once it is done then you need to open up streamlab obs once you have opened the streamlab obs now it's time to connect your device so here you can see hdmi has been connected to the lightning port of iphone and here i have my iphone 11 let's connect this lightning port to the device once you connect you can see a lightning port icon in the status bar and here you go now your iphone screen can be seen in the streamlab obs if you're using a device for the first time then you need to adjust the resolution as per the screen so let me open up pubg once and here you can see as i use my iphone for stream i have already adjusted the screen size in this steam lab obs you guys can do just by dragging these corners and now let's connect our android device to connect the android device i'll be using the same hdmi cable but the connector will be different connect the hdmi cable to type c to hdmi converter once done let's connect this and here you can see the screen appears in the streamlab obs so there are no different settings for android or iphone settings remains the same it's just you have to change the connector once a device is properly connected to the streamlab obs you just need to tap on go live and if you don't see your stream on youtube then make sure to cross check the stream key so let me show you whether it works or not by tapping on go live and here i have my channel and you can see receiving your content there might be a delay of three to four seconds now we are live on our youtube channel so guys this way you can do live streams using your android or ios device if you still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below and i'm more active on instagram so you can follow me on instagram and drop a message if you have any questions so as of now only this much in this video hope you guys like the video and if you guys like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day